we are here for the Emporio uh, project for the best practices. Uh, we are here interviewing Juan López, export manager of uh, Navarro Azorín. And uh, well, uh, welcome, Navarro, uh, Juan. Hello, good morning. Could you tell us something about your a brief introduction of your company? Uh, yes, uh, of course. Uh, Navarro Azorín is a second generation family owned company. We are producers of uh, furniture fittings and decorative fittings of the furniture industry. A company with uh, 47 years of history right now. And uh, well, our, our uh, mission is to, to generate uh, profit for the owners and the employees of the company through uh, sales and commercialization of furniture fittings. Okay. And uh, when and how did you start your export activities? Well, the company started uh, export uh, since many, many years ago, probably uh, 30, 35 years ago, uh, in uh, many different uh, markets uh, through assistance to, exhi to exhibitions. Um, uh, in the last years, we have tried to consolidate uh, sales partners in every market, normally sales representatives on a commission basis, uh, in order to have regular contact with the market and the customers and potential market uh, customers in these markets. And this has uh, allowed us to have a, a deeper knowledge of each uh, market and also the capability to adapt our products to a specific requirements when necessary. Also, it has increased a lot the recognition of our brand in uh, the key accounts. Okay, uh, could you briefly mention about the yearly increase rate of export shares within firm, uh, firm revenues after the initial start in exports? Uh, well, mentioning uh, basically the last uh, 10 years, we have had an average increase between 30 and 20 percent uh, per year, accumulating a total increase in the last 10 years of about 300 percent of our export sales. Okay, and uh, what factor affected your recent success in export? Is it because you started to make use of an effective method? Well, first of all, the company uh, invested uh, in the two different stages to move our production 100% to our plant in Spain against uh, the trend in our competitors, which are mostly traders nowadays, not producers. Basically, they are traders with Chinese product producers. Um, the good financial management uh, in previous years made us uh, invest in, in technology, especially in a moment where many companies in Europe have no access to financial resources to increase their competitiveness. Uh, also, we did uh, uh, an extra effort on design innovation, new materials, sometimes uh, risky solutions, which have uh, given us, uh, with many customers, the perception that we are a company which development of new products, the new concepts, and new solutions for them. So we are a bit uh, escaping from the price competition common in our in our market. Okay. Finally, uh, the total commitment of all the employees of the company and also our partners, suppliers, uh, to give an excellent service, which uh, means uh, studious delivery times, reliability, response to any kind of problems of quality complaints, urgent demands, when necessary, and uh, versatility in our production without the standards to adapt every uh, demand of ours. Mm -hmm. And what are your objectives for further success in exports? Uh, the main way now for increasing success is based on these uh, points I mentioned before. Production in Spain is very important. Big buyers need reliable suppliers who can control 100% of the production processes and accomplish the delivery times and quality compromise. Production in Spain also allow our big customers to plan shorter uh, production times, reducing their own stocks in the plants, working under just-in-time uh, philosophy. And, uh, you know, furniture production is like textile market. There are trends, uh, color periods, innovations, so to be innovative in this environment is an excellent way to increase our, our customers um, because our know-how is an added value uh, which helps them to create more 
beautiful and eye-catching collection of the furniture of the time. And uh, finally, the training, always constant training of our employees and suppliers to make them feel involved in the process of innovation in the factory, where uh, we work under an open system where anybody can suggest changes or modifications in any product or processes where they are involved. Okay, and finally, what do you suggest the new entrants for success in exports? Well, this is very difficult to suggest. I can mention about our experience. Uh, I think everybody must have a clear idea of what they want to do, how they want to be successful, making the cheaper or through innovation, maybe with a unique product. And once we define it, uh, knowledge of the markets where they want to sell it also very important and also the most difficult points and um, out of market studies or uh, topics you need to knock every door have a look a good local partner and a long resistance against non-successful situations because it is uh, very usual in the first stage and of course a business plan to finance a period of, of learning uh, but the most important uh, thing is once you get a new customer you never lose it you compromise with them. You said six weeks, keep uh, your order in six weeks. If you said, I will answer tomorrow, do it. If you compromise to do something for your customer, do it. Uh, there are many ways to lose a customer, and very often it's because of our own fault, but this is very difficult to, to assume. So be reliable, get a good reputation, and be serious in your compromises, and for sure you will never lose a customer while you are able to get you know, Okay, thank you very much, Juan, for your time. Thank you, thank you to you for, for the interest in our company.